on agile models the scrum is the first one I want to talk about in more detail because it's one of the more interesting approaches and it's also one of the more uh, used or applied models in the software industry. For example large parts of games industry works solely on scrum if they identify any actual model or in mobile applications scrum is also fairly much used. In larger organizations which pr produce their main products with something more traditional like object driven models or or for example rational unified process scrum is usually used in smaller scale projects where the idea is only on tailoring existing software or existing product to a new platform or to a for a new customer uh, with existing assets and most of the stuff already uh, being developed only needing adjustment to new environment anyway scrum is an agile model that's something that we all can agree on it has some peculiar uh, terminology for example in scrum instead of iterations we talk about sprints sprints are uh, basically an iteration within project lasting two to four weeks and they are used to develop test and integrate a certain set of features to the product. We also talk about task management artifacts which are product backlog, sprint backlog and burn down chart. These are basically a list of objectives or use cases or features or stuff which we need to do or create for the software. The product backlog includes all the different things we need to do for the product. Sprint backlog uh, includes all the items we need to do within this current sprint and burn down chart is something that keeps tabs on what we have already done in this sprint and what's still left to be done. The developer uh, the developers have certain roles. For example there's the product owner who makes the decisions and is the final say on uh, decisions regarding the certain product or certain module or certain artifact. The Scrum Master is the team leader. He is more or less a specific name for project manager and he is the uh, head of schedules and resources and the activities. Well, the team, uh, in as in any case, implicates all the uh, people doing work within the project. The development there's also a thing called development ceremonies. The ceremonies are something that's more or less just meetings or ways of doing things. For example, a sprint planning meeting where we decide on what each backlog has or how the current or starting sprint will be done or daily scrum meetings which are more or less just stand-up meetings lasting something like 15 minutes where everyone says what they are currently doing, what's their current task and objective so that people can uh, know what each other each member of group are doing and this is important since it also enables people to ask from each other things. Uh, review meeting after sprint is something ja that just uh, is done to see that we completed all our tasks and we are done with the current sprint backlog. So basically there's some terminology sprints, uh, backlog uh, ceremonies or scrum master which could be also replaced with uh, iteration uh, requirements document or current requirements document for the iteration project manager as replacement for scrum master and meeting or uh, review for ceremonies but in uh, uh, the spirit of scrum or the, to get the idea that, that what the scrum is doing it's usually normal to try to use the terminology of scrum when talking about the scrum project in specific so basically this is how the model works. We have the sprint packages, 
uh, which include all the needed features and requirements and things which are prioritized and uh, prioritized based on criticality and priority or the uh, cr uh, criticality as in what are the things that we really really need to have in our product all these uh, requirements and functionalities features are in order of priority in work packages which are completed one in a time one work package in one scrum cycle or sprint when we get the uh, work package, we start doing it and we have one scrum iteration, a scrum cycle, which may last up to 30 days. And within this one scrum sprint, we have daily meetings for the 8-hour cycle, during which we are completing the things in the work package or burndown chart. At the end of sprint, we are uh, produ uh, we integrate test and integrate our features into the product, and after each sprint, we should have a product which is installable, usable, and um, can be used in quality assurance, or at least we have something that starts, so we have something to demonstrate to our customers. So overall, this model isn't really that complicated. We, after we have been work, doing one sprint, we get next work package, complete the features and objectives of that work package and integrate them into our product. Of course, this doesn't always work. For example, we have up to 30 days for each iteration and we have 30 days to realize one set of requirements and it, that includes all the design implementation, testing, quality assurance and integration work for that to happen. It's sometimes not enough, so we also may end up with backlog, which means that we are unable to fulfill all the requirements during the sprint they were uh, planned for. So, in some occasions, or well, in most scrum projects in real life. We also have to do separate sprints for sorting out the features that we didn't have time to do or uh, do additional quality assurance work, do additional testing like load testing or performance testing which, is ne which requires somewhat stable system to work with or refracture modules to get rid of an unnecessary comp uh, unnecessarily complicated modules or bad code habits or simply do quality assurance tasks to see that the product is going to fulfill the quality requirements at when the last sprint is done. So basically uh, the sprints include the work packages uh, but they may sometimes only just keep doing or realizing the things which are left over from earlier sprints. Anyway, uh, the items or artifacts are nothing really that uh, spe special. They are more or less just prioritized list of requirements, stories, features, use cases, UML charts or some else, something else like uh, concept art or or a prototype or proof of concept works which are then realized as a real product. We are talking about things like Excel charts here or documents and nothing that special because Scrum doesn't have a strong say on how your product backlog or burndown chart should be done. It's just something that works and we stick with that. Anyway, uh, considering what the Scrum says about the different developer roles, the product owner is always the king of the product. Uh, the product owner defines the features, is responsible for the business aspects, meaning that they have the final say on what goes in and what goes out of the product. It's something like a quality manager or quality assurance uh, manager of other types of projects whereas the Scrum Master is usually the manager of the daily tasks in the project. They are the people responsible for managing the everyday work, managing the ceremonies, 
ensuring that the data, uh, required data is collected and overall seeing that the project is going towards the intended direction. Of course the product owner and scrum master can be the same person but the product owner usually is on the higher administrative tasks and also selling stuff and keeping uh, uh, keeping in connection with the customer, whereas the Scrum Master is the uh, person doing work at the home office. Uh, anyway, the ceremonies also are more or less, like I said earlier, just new names for different things uh, in other models. The Sprint Planning Meeting is more or less just a meeting where the product owner develops a plan for product or project to happen. This can uh, this is usually done uh, for each iteration because 30 days is relatively long period of time if you don't know what you are doing. Similarly the daily scrum meeting or daily meeting uh, is just 50 minutes so that everyone knows what the other people are doing and the review meeting is something that shows us where we are now and what we have to do next to stay on the overall course considering the entire product development. So this is Scrum in a nutshell basically. The Scrum is really used because it tends to focus on actually doing things instead of planning things and it's relatively lightweight but still has certain aspects of management into it. it isn't, it's not cowboy coding, meaning that everyone is doing something defined, everyone knows what other people are doing and overall there's always an objective which is close enough that people can see or understand what's expected from their work. That's probably one of the reasons why Scrum is one of the most successful agile models in current, currently in existence.